Hey guys, <clears throat> excuse me, it's Jules. Time for another stitch with me. Oh, no theme music. Theme music comes later. We're doing apothecary shop today. It's April something something 14th. April 14th. Hello, Mercury. Mercury's like, you're talking. I'll come in and see who you're talking to. Oh, you're talking to yourself again. Yeah. You need to work on that, right? Yeah. All right. So we're working on a pot care shop. And I have a lot of same kind of colors to put down. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to really just kind of get a bunch done. Which I'm all about. I'm all about getting bunches done. Bunches and bunches. So it's Saturday morning. I was about ready to start my video, and I'm glad I didn't a few minutes ago because there was a gigantic ruckus outside. Because it's a very, it's a beautiful morning, but it's a very cold morning. It's like, I don't know, wind chills like in the teens or something. And um, this time a day, there's a fair number of people who are like, yeah, I would like to take my dogs into the park and not put a leash on them. Because my dogs are perfect, and they always listen to me, and they never get distracted. But then they see our dogs and they run over and fence fight and it's loud. And I hope everybody in the neighborhood was up already because if not, they are now. So, oh well. Yeah, my only dog that I allow off leash um, is Zuzu, the golden retriever, because she is totally 100% under control. She doesn't stray, which is probably her one redeeming quality. Other than perhaps her never-ending optimism that somebody will always want to throw a ball for her, or somebody will always want to play tug-of-war with her. So, and by somebody, I mean usually me or my husband. So, but she's a hoot. Coco is up here, a.k.a. What What, is up stairs with me um, and is doing quite well, chewing on a little tiny treat bone thing that helps with her teeth that she well, I should say really helps with her breath because she could knock you down no matter how much I work on it it's always a problem but um, anyway so it's Saturday morning and we've got the whole mornings to ourselves which is great because we do not have well, we've got Saturday to ourselves. We shouldn't say that. Tomorrow, we're going to help a friend move. And then we... Tomorrow, is, tomorrow afternoon is easily the only chance we really have to go look at the bees. And we need to go look at the bees tomorrow. Um, Weather-wise, what I mean is that there is... Um, the all weekend, it's going to be cold and windy. And it's not good to open the hives up when it's cold and windy. Um... You can really stress the bees out a lot, and um, it really kind of uh, defeats the whole purpose of getting in there. And the reason why we're getting in there is because we're going to try and head off a potential swarm situation with a couple of the hives um, where we have uh, probably like too many bees in um, these some of these hives, and Sooner or later, the queen's going to say, you know what, we need to go find roomier digs. We need to head that off before that happens. So tomorrow would be the day that we would hopefully be able to do that. So fingers crossed, because next Saturday we get a couple new packages of bees. And we got to take them down to the hives and put them in, which is always, you know, if I will say this, I don't care that they're not forecasting snow, but... I will say that if there is a day in April that it's going to snow, it's going to be the day that we pick up our bees. So I would say a pretty good chance of snow next Saturday, at least a very cold and windy, nasty day. If we had a sunny day, I, I don't know what we would do because we haven't had sunny days yet. It'll be all right, though. Thanks to those who have subscribed to the RB channel. It's very fledgling. It's very young and innocent bee channel right now. And uh, we only have a few videos up there, but we're gonna 
we should be taking another one, doing another one after the visit on Sunday. So that'll be awesome. Do, 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 do. So I'm going to actually do quite, you know, normally I don't, you know, I've always had this history of the kind of going across and get everything done. But as you can see on this piece, it's just, I just do one color and just do a bunch in one color. Cause honestly, like this page is, um, this color and then there's one other color and there's just a ton of it on this page and so I'm gonna try and do like a bunch all around here at first but hopefully it makes the page go by a little faster we shall see Watching some hockey playoffs. Avs play at about one o'clock. We'll get to watch the first part of that before we have to go out and go watch a lacrosse game. But um, playoffs been fun. I think I've watched more first round playoffs this year already than I did like all last year combined. Just very interested this year. But it did snow surprisingly. It kind of snowed and nobody expected it to Thursday night. We got a couple inches of that really wet, thick snow. It was awesome. Lots of moisture. You can see in the the fields behind our house that the uh um um, that the grass is really shooting up now um, under the under the um, it, it looks really good like we're getting a lot of good moisture here and that is so needed This month is just flying by, which is good, but I'm sitting here thinking about, okay, we gotta get this done, we gotta get that done. It's funny how that happens, but part of it is we have, um, you know, you got the Avengers movie coming up and we have a friend of ours that we already, you know, we see a lot of the same movies together with, so we just buy, we all buy tickets together. And, um, but he hasn't seen Black Panther yet, and he has to see Black Panther. I mean, if he doesn't see Black Panther, he's just, he's not going to enjoy it as much because there's a lot of Black Panther in this um, Avengers movie coming up. So we shall see. But yeah, so we got to try and figure out how to, how to do that, along with the fact that there's hockey playoffs, and he tries to watch every single hockey playoff game that he can, so it's going to be difficult, but it can be done. Hopefully, I think next Sunday will be the next opportunity. And definitely next weekend, the Stitch Along video will be a bit late. Probably come out on Sunday. Um, why is that needle there? It, uh, hello, needle. What are you doing there? It, um, because I, I have to work, and then I think right after work, literally, we're like, we're going right down, install the, oh, I might have a chance, I might have a chance, because that, we'll be back by late afternoon, and I don't think I have anything else, like, on the docket, on the docket, let's highlight, let's highlight, bum, 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 bum. let's keep the highlights, all right. Oh man, next a little sore today. I'm trying to get on the bike, rides the bike a bit. The exercise bike, not a real bike. I mean, what are you crazy? I mean, get outside, real bike. It's too windy for that. It's like 
blows like 20 to 30 miles per hour around here. It is crazy. Wow, I didn't highlight from yesterday when I was working on this either. Not good. Biddy boop, biddy boop, biddy boop. All right. Look at this one knot. I'm just going to stretch for a second. Oh, I'll do a lot of stretching. All right. Did I drop that? Yes, I did. I dropped a little. My little needle. My little needle. Say hello to my little needle. Whoops. Disorganized. What? Me? Disorganized? That's crazy. All right. Let's go across the top part here and fill in what we can up here. Okay, just tie my wrap up. And if you guys have like, um, I'll get caught, I'm going to get caught up in my comments after I start uploading this video, but if there's something that I have missed, um, you've commented on something, um, you've asked for something or this or that or whatnot, and I haven't responded or didn't follow up, it's not because, it, it's just literally because I'm just ridiculously busy and I've got so much going on and... It's just hard to remember. Hard to remember. Hmm. Oh, there's the wind. It's a great day to fly a kite, sort of. Bad day to fly an airplane. Bad day to go outside with hair that you want to stay perfect. The only thing I don't like about Colorado weather is the wind. I don't mind it when I'm inside and the house kind of shivers and shakes with the wind, but I do mind it greatly when I'm outside because it's just annoying. Yesterday I came home at lunchtime um, and we, it was trash day for us and like yet again like the trash cans are like you know three doors down and the recycling had you know, fallen over. The trash had been picked up, but the recycling hadn't. And the recycling had fallen over and like a third of the stuff was like spread down the street and I had to go pick it all up and put it back in. It was just kind of funny. Well, I don't know if it was funny at the time, but I was just like, huh. I mean, if we could get some wind turbines in this field, or if I could put some on the top of the house, I would be so happy because we would, we would make so much energy. But the problem is, is that our little local co-op electrical company doesn't currently support that sort of thing. And I think they're going to, at least with solar, but it would be nice. I mean, you know, follow me along here. So say I have, oh, I wasn't supposed to go all the way over, or was I? Hmm, wait a second, I caught myself. One, two. Aha, okay. I almost did too much. So, you know, say I put wind turbine or solar panels or something like that on my roof, and I have some sort of thing in my house that converts it to proper electricity and also can store it. I think I have a nice battery that if, say, if my power went out, I could power my house for, you know, maybe a day or something, you know? Emergency power or just reserve power for those times when I might need it, like when I turn my air conditioner on or something. And, um, 
and I only can store so much and whatnot. And maybe I, I maybe I can give electricity back somehow, you know, and uh, to the co-op guys. Maybe get a little discount on my bill or something. I don't know, but it's just you know why can't I do that? Why? 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 And the answer is because of where I live and because of what time it is. Meaning we haven't gotten there yet. And so, but we will. It's it's not like that in most of Colorado, but for some reason where we're at, it kind of is. So, we're just going to keep our eyes open for potential possibilities down the road and go from there. I love wind turbines though. Oh man, they're so beautiful. I, I'm probably only, per, well not only, but I'm... Um, I just think they're beautiful. I think they sound awesome. I I just, you know, I had this thing about wind turbines several years ago that I was just like, this is the most amazing thing ever. And then uh, I was doing a cross-country trip from Colorado back to Kentucky to see family for Thanksgiving one year. And I passed right through this huge field of wind turbines, so like a whole development of them in, um, I want to say Eastern Kansas. And I was so like unbelievably excited that I actually pulled off the highway on this one like exit that literally went nowhere and, um, pulled off, parked in this, on the side of the road and kind of walked into this guy's field to get as close as I, as I dared basically to the wind turbine. Cause it, Cause it was going, it was spinning and it was just, Oh my God, I just feel like it was so beautiful. It was really cool. See, I envision a day where we have a digital energy grid in this in this uh, in this country. It's going to take a while because we're a big country. And what's what's set to happen is, you know, you can you have your uh, wind turbines. You know, all along the wind, the wind tunnel areas. So your Wyoming, Kansas, Nebraska, Colorado. You know, the northern areas get that, and then you've got your solar power all throughout the southern states. Where am I? I'm right here. Okay, here we go. What's up, Coco Puff? Coco Puff, Coco Puff. Um, but uh, did you find your other bone, good little girl? There was one under the. There were two. She's like, why is there no cat food in here? I need to eat my cat food. But, um, you know, solar power's there. And then, um, I don't know, just all these, you know, all these different energy producing areas. And then it all feeds into this national grid. And say there's uh, something that happens in, you know, southwest or the northeast or whatever and their energy something happens to the you know the energy surges or i don't know what but they need power there's a blackout we need power we just shunt power from other areas of the country towards the northeast and reinstate power before people start to really suffer or you know i mean it's just they're just you know i don't know Change can be slow sometimes, and then it comes very quickly in other times. So, I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. I don't know. I just think it's cool. I think it's needed. Just bull in a china shop there, Cocoa Puff. Oh, another gust of wind. Cocoa Puff. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I got all the way over the top part of this. I'm going to need to make more threads. What's up, Cocoa Puff? Don't you dare go to the bathroom up here, you silly dog.
Oh, I lost a fish. Well, meaning I lost a fish died. The lone surviving red wag that was in the same tank as my gigantic angel fish and the dinosaur fish um, was found dead a few mornings ago. It's very sad. I think it was Thursday morning. I would have talked about it on the video, but I think it happened Thursday morning. And, um, yeah, well, I mean, he lived for several months all on his own. He had, um, he came with a group of like five and most didn't make it initially. And then a few died shortly thereafter. And it was pro yes, it was probably the dinosaur fish's fault. And I think he's a predator. So now there's just two in those, in that tank, but it's fairly, they're both getting fairly big. So I'm kind of thinking to myself that I'm not going to get anything else just right yet. Just right yet. Highlight time. And, uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. Hey, what's up, Coco Puff? She's just wandering. I think she eventually figured out that her daddy's not up here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Go away. Coco, go. Mercury starts to get a little, uh-uh. You better run for the hills. All right, shall we do the same color or try a different one? What do you guys think? I think a different one would be would be a little better. I'm just trying. I'm just anticipating. Yeah, let's do. What's number eight? So here's my my color sheet. Pretty big color sheet. This is pretty typical for what cross stitch collectibles stuff looks like. Because this is I on the other side of this is my um, baseball. And on occasion, I do get this wrong. <laughs> I'll, uh, want, I'll be working on one project or the other and I'll have it flipped to the wrong side so that when I look for something and I start doing that color, I'm like, wait a minute, this doesn't look right. And realize I'm using the wrong flash chart. So, anyway, so pop carry shot. But this is a nice way to keep these two things together and uh, visible to me. Oh, excuse me for yawning. <laughs> Relaxing. Relaxing. All right, so let's. Is this. I've never met a dog who scuffs all four feet like that, just in the way that you do it. Uh oh. Mm. <laughs> All right, it's more. Hold on. And we're back. Coco did survive. Don't worry about her. It's her own fault because she literally just kept wandering closer and closer to Mercury, just ticking him off. And then it happened. He got mad and he just, honestly, all he did was stand up. And he stood up and turned toward her and she freaks out. <laughs> it's like the sky is falling. So that was our little fun for the morning. It happens almost every morning though, seriously. It's everybody downstairs is, is gets all crazy and barks and they're like, we're come protect you, Coco. Although they, <laughs> they, they wouldn't, they'd just come up and wanna see what the cat was doing, but. Anyway, so I took Coco downstairs. That's kind of probably where she wanted to be anyway, so. My wonderful husband is downstairs finishing up the dishes, believe it or not. But he gets so antsy some Saturdays and just wants to be doing stuff. And we already went to the store. So we're, we're set, we're set for the weekend. Let's do this, huh? Get in there. I'm not sure what he's listening to. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but he's uh, listening to something. 
while he's up in the kitchen. Sure. Stichowski. So that was the first half of the video. Start on the second half here. But that's the never ending drama that is this household. We're not that dramatic, it's just the dogs are loud. They like to be loud. So gave Mercury a little food, gave him a bunch of new water, and he is drinking away. This project is just so much fun to stitch though. It's the color palette. And just the, I don't know. I really enjoy cross stitch collectible stuff. I do. And like I said, I have, well, I have several of them. But I don't even know how I came across them in the beginning, but it must've been just a website that back, you know, seven, eight years ago when I was looking for patterns, just was one I came across and enjoyed. Because how did I not ever come across Hade? Uh, Heaven and Earth Designs, I mean. Or Head? Hade? Head? Oh, Hade. Um, so, it happens. And Mercury has finished with his eat, drink, be merry. And he's laying back down in the sun. He's a pretty happy cat right now. Which is good. today with this won't be back for the stitching until tonight and time for the Bruins and the Maple Leafs to play so JJ 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 oh that fits perfectly pops out because this is the door the rest of the cab that the horse is pulling I want to say cab could I mean, I'm not sure what they call it it's not really a carriage it's closed hmm
this is good cross stitch stuff. It's good cross stitch stuff. Down here. Right here. I'm just I'm just looking forward to the point where I get to a spot like that on the baseball piece because that'll definitely be pretty awesome. Mm. Not quite sure here. Let's go up here. Shakalaka laka. Such a pretty day. I hope nobody's, well, and you gotta know somebody's out there trying to play golf in this crazy monsoon-like conditions. Is there anything worse than being outside on a windy day is trying to play golf outside on a windy day. I tried golf for a very, very short period of time, like a month or something. It just wrenched my back. And I, I don't know, I probably could have um, got myself to a place where I probably could have played, but I just, it, it didn't grab me. And so I felt like, eh, you know, much rather cross stitch. So that is what I did. I just keep saying so awesome because I'm like seeing the progress that's being made on this project and I'm very happy. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What happened here? Mm, what's going on here? Cross stitching beeps. Mm, what did I do there? What's going on? I gotta pull this back away. Back away. Hmm, weird. Hold on, come here. Come here, you stitching maverick, you. Wait, what is going on here? See how I did that? It's like, I think I got part of that in there, but I don't know where that is on the other side. So let me look. Oh, okay, come here. Oh, there we are. Just a little extra piece of something, something that just got tucked in there. Oh, well. that color because that 
because that is going to be fruitful. Watching, he might be watching something about horror movies. We, uh, oh, yeah, he is Stephen King. I think he's watching something about The Shining. Yeah, that was our first uh, Valentine's Day together. We watched The Conjuring and The Shining. <laughs> yeah, that was what we watched. Yeah, I'd never seen it, so and I know why because it's scary. But uh, it was all good. It was all good. Where's this right here? Ooh, clouds going behind. It got darker in here all of a sudden. Clouds. Someone behind the clouds. Okay, let's. Let me just get this one started here. Stab myself. There we just focusing in a little bit. Yeah, it definitely got darker in here all of a sudden. Huh. Thankfully I have all this extra Latin. See, I got a little highlighter down there. No worries. No worries. Oh, we watched the first episode of Lost in Space, the TV show. Um, it's, oh, see, I did it again. What, what, what am I doing? I think it's the same piece though. Um, I liked, I liked Lost in Space when I was younger and TV show we you know we watched that when we were kids and um, I actually liked the movie too I thought it, well I liked it for the most part there was aspects of the editing that I didn't really like a whole lot but that's kind of a weird thing to not like about a about a movie but that's just you know it just disconjointed at times but um, but yeah, so they had the TV show on last night, and it's, you know, slightly, um, you know, it's a little different here and there and whatnot, and, but uh, I don't know, it was good enough to watch, you know, it's not like, you know, for a first episode, you know, I think it's pretty decent, so probably end up watching the rest of it. I think it's on Netflix, I think it's one of those newer Netflix shows or something, but... They actually, um, yeah, they do a pretty good job. And it's definitely, um, I think younger kids would like it too, I think. But it's, it's you know, lower budget, clearly, compared to everything else that's been done. I mean, well, I shouldn't say everything. The original TV show was low budget, but, um, yeah, it's all good. So we'll see. I don't ever watch very much TV. I'm like I've always said many a time. I'm more of a YouTube person, and I don't watch TV shows on YouTube. So I really need to get back into my audiobook that I still have uh, borrowed. It's um, I don't remember the name of it, but it's about the first woman um, cryptologist. Um, so like a code breaker, and um, there's this whole you know, it's like back um, World War One ish I think. Um, 
And this, okay, I, I gotta untwist the bag. Or sorry, I untwist my fabric here. It's a little better. And it's, uh, it's kind of fascinating in a way. Um, you know, I haven't gotten very far, only a couple of hours in, maybe a couple chapters, but apparently there's this whole theory, and maybe it's been debunked, and I just haven't gotten to that part of the book yet, but about how um, William Shakespeare was actually this guy, Francis Bacon, who was a pretty well-known guy in his own right, but that... Um, he wrote play. I mean, Bacon was more of a science guy, and um, he wrote plays as Shakespeare, um, but hid codes in the in the um, manuscripts of the plays and whatnot that reveal who he is and reveal his thoughts on things and whatnot. And so there are people who are like, you know, I guess it's one of the first conspiracy theories, and that are determined to sort of figure it out and. It, uh, apparently it led to um, modern code breaking and I don't know what, but the interesting thing is that how there's, you know, there's this woman that plays a central role and she was, she's married to this other guy and he tends to get, I guess, in the history books gets the, the, you know, cause he's the guy, he gets the, the vast majority of the credit for everything. But they, this book goes through the fact that it actually was her that, was considered to be the more brilliant and capable of the two and uh, so it's it's been a good read so far so I um, it's been very interesting the um, woman that they're you know that this feature in the story she she kind of grew up as a, a Shakespeare expert like English literature was like her I think she went to college and that was like her thing and but like how are you ever going to find a job, you know, with that? And But anyway, I'm surprising sometimes how training in one field can lead you to another field. Skills that, or talents, traits that carry over to other things. Just got to see the possibilities. One, two, three, four. Ah, get in there. One. There's surprisingly not a lot of people out on the trails today, because I can see that from my window here. I was a little surprised about that, but oh well. I'm sure they'll be out later if the, if the wind dies down, because again, nobody likes to be outside. When it's windy. Mm hmm. And there's that. crazy stitch thing. Right 
getting it done. Okay. Ah, get in, get in the hole. There we go. Brilliant. Brilliant. Highlight and see where we are, shall we? Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> hmm. So fantastic, I think I'm gonna stop things here, friends. Friends, is, 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 and um, start working on putting this together, start working on getting some bloggy stuff together because I need to get some bloggy stuff together, don't I? I do, I'm so slow on that. So, got plenty of things to do this weekend. Stitching is definitely one of them. Definitely want to get more progress made on this particular piece and then maybe switch over to baseball tomorrow at some point, but. I got a lot of work done on Old World Map 2 the other day, too. So I'm, hopefully I'll be able to put a picture of that up there, too. But got a lot done on that. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for uh, joining me. And uh, I hope you got a lot of progress made on whatever you were working on. And I will see you guys uh, next or this coming week with another weekly update. Bye-bye.